All right, number three. Get, get younger leaders involved. Get those younger leaders involved. Now, if you don't have younger leaders in your church, you're in trouble. Uh, one of the things I always did when I was pastoring and involved in leadership in my churches was I looked for people that were younger than me and, and really tried to, was aggressive in recruiting them to be involved in some aspect of ministry. Because if you're not passing things on to younger people, you're going to have a church. Well, there's a church here in Tucson years ago, and it was called First Baptist Church. And it was downtown by like 5th and 6th, and it had a nice building. <clears throat> and the pastor had been there, had been a, it's an old church, had been there, and one of the pastors had been there for like 30, 40 years. And they, at one point in their lives, they were a great church reaching their community in Tucson. Several churches came, spun off from that. And, uh, and then uh, something happened. They got old and they had over a million dollars in the bank, a million dollars in their savings account. And they had like 30 people showing up Sunday mornings. It was just, and, and they didn't, they didn't get younger people involved. And, and so and now they're, the building's there, but, but uh, now there's a, a, a group that's there that's uh, really, you know, taking things kind of by the horn, so to speak, and doing really well with it. But uh, so you want to get younger people involved. So, you know, younger people, technology, they're, they're, they're born into it, you know, they're, they're grown up with it. And, you know, look for people, even if they're not in leadership, look for some responsible young people and get them involved, uh, maybe with the tech team, but whatever it is, get them involved in, in working with technology.